Hello spider peeps. Well in the last video we just got this working and we managed to get the new disk image that was loaded into the SD card to boot on this Mac 128 emulator. So this is really messy as it stands so I think it's time to create a new PCB that we can connect this SD card reader to more directly. So let's go to Easy EDA. All right so here's the original design um, as we've seen which worked well. And so I've got to look at removing that and changing that to a different USB and I want to put a power LED on it as well. So let's go and have a look at the circuit board design. So I think to begin with to do a power LED, I think if I grab this, can I do a duplicate? So I'm going, let's have a look and do edit. Yeah, copy and paste it again. All right, yeah, lovely. So I can have a, another LED doing that. So we'll, we'll just pop that there for the moment. But really, this has just got to run from the power. So get rid of that. And I'll just add another five volts on there and connect it to that. So copy that. Oh, we need to copy the full thing. Yeah, so copy that, and paste that over here and just wire that up. So that should give me a power light and I can decide where to Put that on the board. So let's just connect them through, connect them there to there. That should be okay. So that should give me a power light, which is LED2, and it will put another resistor on as well, which is fine. Let's go to the library and USB C S M T surface mount, I think. So we need the socket, don't we? There's a plug, USB-C. Let's assume this is female. That's what I want. Okay, that will do. And it's got these CC1 and CC2, which they're important, right? So let's place that on. That's more like I want. All right, so USB-C here. We're not using this anymore, but I do have to connect these to it, so ground and VBUS that'll give us the five volts well let's hope it let's hope it does so if I take that five volts there and connect it to that VBUS there and bring him down a bit and then the ground I can connect to that oops get rid of that let's connect that up again so connect that ground there to that ground there all right well it's funny I don't actually need this either do I so we'll get rid of that and I also need to get rid of that and they should still be connected to the ground okay yeah a bit messy but that'll do might be able to move that down there now that makes more sense if that's there so on these CC ones, I've got to put two 5.1K pull downs. So I'll grab resistor five, copy that and put it here. Then one there and one there. Well, actually let's make it 5.5K first. Resistor name and it's 5.1K kilo ohms. All right, I might have to look those up after I think. Although, yeah, maybe I ought to look that up now just in case. Go to library again, 5.1K and it's R, it was R603, 603. Um, I think, hopefully we can find standard one. Hi home 603. So place that, do that one, go to CC1 and then Put another one there as well all right so they've got to go to pull down to ground i think i'll wire all these up properly let's get rid of that so one's going to be about level with that and one's going to be about level with that and these have all got to go to the ground as well so let's get rid of that so let's wire these up so that one goes to that one that one goes to the ground slightly off that ground there goes across to the wire there and goes to there that's it and then cc1 goes to there and then 
CC2 comms has to go down a bit to there. All right, so what these two resistors should do, they tell the USB thing it's connected to that it's requesting five volts, I think. All right, and then the final bit I need to wire up, what was the other bit? So I need to wire up the V bus there up to that five volts. So a bit messy, but hey, you can see what I'm trying to do. So that should be it there. So we've got the power there and then we've got that to get the power working correctly. This is the bit I didn't know before, which is why I didn't want to use a USB-C in it. So we just need a header for one of these now. Yeah, so how could I lay this out? I mean, I could lay it that way. If I put these, um, some headers down there on the board, then maybe if i unsoldered these and did vertical ones it would mean that i could put it behind it looks like there's just enough space between that vga connector there no, maybe not enough really i need to move it forward a little bit so this might stick out a little bit but i think that's all right you won't really have to access that when it's plugged in will you so i could do it that way or we could or if you wanted when it arrived you could have headers and you could just plug it in like that have it as a separate board yeah lots of options if i put the header down there then we'll lose this and uh yeah so let's uh let's try let's look at doing it that way so this is a one two three four five six so that's a six pin header so let's have a look see if i can find one again so library so um six times header um two point whoops that's the sort of thing and we've got a ground pin that's obvious on there as well which is good so let's place that so I'm not actually placing the this board here. I just want to place the header to do it. So I'll move these two guys out of the way. Design, update PCB. Now keep going, apply changes. I wonder if that removed the board outline somehow. somewhere around there the two resistors that come from the CNs can go there and there All right so that's my header let's add a ground up here let's add one of my grounds another ground back there hang on let's use that one let's put that there bit wobbly but let's take that across the top and there we go and then VCC run that this way We better to flip that round. Let's see whether that updates. Update PCB. Keep going. Right, changes. Right, so these are all wired up now. So is the first one. Where's that going? What net's that connected to? Well, I still can't tell. Oh, that, I think that's right, yeah, I think that's grand. Um, somehow, that's probably connected to the side wall, so can I root now?
Okay, so I'll have to do the routing when it works another time. But uh, that's looking that's looking better. Okay, so I'm just going to tidy up this board now, make a few changes, put spider math on it, and then I'm going to send it to these guys, JLC PCB. Now, I've hinted quite a few times in my videos how I would love to be sponsored by this company, and you'll never guess what actually reached out to me and said we'd like to sponsor your channel so we so spider has got a sponsor wow so as you know i've been using the lc pcb for a long time they're pretty much the only supplier that i would ever think of using for pcbs now and uh, it's so cheap to get them done there so much so that i've actually started having my pcbs assembled by them as well uh, which is a little bit more expensive because you're paying for the components and actually they're supporting me with that in the channel so uh, you might see their logo from time to time you'll obviously see their products when i'm um, creating pcbs from them so i hope you enjoyed watching me design this pcb i'm going to get it ordered now and uh, then we'll see what it turns out like let me know what i did wrong otherwise in the comments apart from that bye So I hopefully, so I hope you enjoyed me watching this. So I hope you enjoyed. So I hope you enjoyed me. So I hope. You, so I hope you enjoyed watching. So I hope you enjoyed what.